Hey guys, JD here. We get a lot of requests about the difference between a true RMS and an RMS meter. So today we're going to discuss that and why uh, the true RMS versus the RMS would benefit you depending on your application. So what I've got here is a test bank with three sets of lights. I've got the first row which is uh, incandescent lights and then the back two rows are CFLs. Um, the difference between them is that the incandescent lights are more of a, a linear load where the CFLs are, are a nonlinear load and this is going to play into the true RMS versus RMS discussion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the backlit dis displays on on these two clamp meters. The first clamp meter up front is a, is a RMS clamp meter and the one in the back here is a true RMS meter. What you'll see is the minute I turn the incandescent lights on, you'll notice that the, the amperage that the two clamps are reading is relatively the same. They're off by a slight, slight tenth of, a, of an amp, but they're relatively the same. You'll also notice if you had an O-scope that you would have a, a relatively perfect uh, sine wave. Now, when you switch these lights off and turn the CFLs on, and you switch to a nonlinear load, you'll notice that the, the, the ratings are different now. The RMS meter is actually off compared to the true RMS. You'll also notice on your uh, O-scope, you'll see that the, the, the sine wave is no longer this perfect smooth sine wave. And that's the, the result of a nonlinear load. So in this type of application, uh, the true RMS meter is going to give you the more accurate reading versus the RMS meter.